Hello, my YouTube friends. I want to welcome you to this exciting, you know, demonstration where I just want to make a comparison of how you can add the river on a beam in Revit structure. This is Revit structure and also Tecla structure. This is Tecla structure as you can see from here. So this is a comparison video so that we can start discussing and people can make decisions whether you know Revit structure is good or Tecla structure is good. So it's up to you to make that decision and decide on what software you want to be using for your Riba projects. All right, now I just want to ask all of you, please don't just watch my video, subscribe to my channel turn on the bell notification and most importantly make sure that you check my website skillmaxcard.com for some courses if you want to join me in Revit structure, Revit architecture, robot structure analysis and much much more. Alright so we'll start with Revit and I'll be switching from one software to the other so that we can make a fair comparison as you are going to see so. Alright now we'll start by the addition, we'll start with the addition of the stirrups on this beam in Revit. Now in Revit, you have to cut a section. You notice that if I select on this beam and I click on Riba, this is 3D and click on Riba, it will take me to Freeform Riba. Of course, I can add the Freeform Riba, but make sure that for standard elements, you just use standard tools so that it's easy for you even to do the shading. It makes work much, much easier. All right, so I need to cut the section. And of course, I know this is level zero this is level this is actually level two this is level one and this is level two so i need to go to that particular level which is right here okay and double click level two there so as i've said you need to cut the section right so by just going to view and click on section you need to pick detail section and click the first point and the second point then double click the head for your section and you have the section there. If you want, you can change your scale, maybe 1 to 25. Change to fine level of detail. If I want, I can go to shade it so that I see my beam like this. Right, now to add the stair up here, we are in section now. You just need to select on this beam and click on river. So you see that in 2D view in a section, you see the standard, you know, uh, tools for Revit which helps you to add the riba okay and these tools are quite easy as I've said if I go to 3D view and click on riba I'll see freeform riba and I don't encourage you to use freeform riba for standard elements right that's why I said you cannot add the riba I mean by not using the freeform riba but by using standard tools but in Tecla structures the options are there as we are going to see all right, so once you select on the beam once again, click on Riba. Okay, first of all, you need to make sure that you pick the, the bar that you want to use. I want to use HR. Okay, now depending on the template that you installed, for those who use, you know, different templates, make sure that you load it and you're going to see the bar types here. All right. So once you do that, you need now to pick the shape code. I'll pick 51. Then the placement, make sure that you are on parallel to work plane then expand to host and now just move your cursor there all right you can see that i'm using a 90 degree hook for this one so this is what i want now you can even before placement make sure that you are at maximum spacing and you specify the spacing there and just click there and click on modify to escape right so you have the stair ups there now i can select on this beam go to 3d view see that i have my stirrups there with the, the hooks at 90 degrees now let's go to tecla we see how we can add the same hooks the same stirrups with the same hooks that is 90 degree hook so i'll go to tecla here so in tecla you don't have to cut the section all you need to do is to go to riba and you just go to crossing select on it now, just like in Revit, you need to come to the properties, the riba set there. First, you just need to pick the bar type. What I want to use is R, and the diameter is 8. Okay, so once you do that, you need to come down here, and you check the distribution. How do I want to distribute? Maybe equal distribution by target spacing, so that you can specify your spacing here. So I'm using 200 millimeters. Okay, you can check these other settings. They are quite, you know, self-explanatory. 
once you do that you just hover okay so there you can see you know the preview just select on it and now you know double click the wheel on your mouse or just once and you see that you have the stirrups right there all right now i'll right click and interrupt now you need to add now the hook there that's how it works in tecla structures by just selecting on it it's quite fast and now you click on uh the end detail you can pick the edge there or you can just pick the ribbon there so if i want i can pick it from this point up to that point and now the wheel on my mouse i just click the wheel on my mouse you notice here that we have the you know the 90 degree you know hook there as you can see so that's how you do it okay so now let's proceed and add the longitudinal bars here so i'll start with revit i'll go to revit here i'll still go back to the section here so you pick on the beam there you click on ribber make sure that you pick the bar type that you want to use i want to use maybe uh 16 t now you need to pick from the browser there the shape code i'll pick this one and the placement i'll use perpendicular then expand to host okay then under the ribber set i just want to use three fixed number and make sure that you pick fixed number there and i want to use three bars then just move in my case there i see that i can add the three bars there and also add my three bars there click on modify okay let's check it in 3d view all right you see that you have the bars there now what i need to do is to add the hooks here so i can select this bar maybe let me first of all isolate this beam so that you can check properly by clicking the selection box then i can select on the ribber there i know this is the start okay of this the ribber and the end of the bar so i'll go to start just like that and pick hook 90 degrees as you can see the end of the bar from there and pick hook which is 90 degrees as you can see from here you can change it if you want from there move there we see that we have the 90 degree hook how about this side we have 90 degree but it's in the wrong direction so we are going to change by selecting on it this is the start of bar so we go to start of bar and just type under the rotation 180 move your case inside we have it like that we can do the same on this bar select on it okay so select on this one hook then end of the bar select on it we add the hook move your cursor inside let's counter check this one is okay this one we just need to rotate the hook by selecting on it again this one is the start of the bar so we go to start of the bar and rotation at start 180 like that and you see that we have the bars so this is how you do it in revit now let's proceed and let's see how you can do it in tecla the longitudinal bars with all these hooks or go to tecla as i've said once again i don't have to add you know to cut a section all you need to do is to go to ribba and click on longitudinal bar all right so you need to check the properties here i'll use a y bar and i want to use 16 for tecla you can even change the color from here maybe uh let me pick a different color maybe i want to use green and pick that one okay now you just need to move your cursor there just move your cursor there just click once now you just need to pick the bottom line there and now hold control because you don't want to before you click the wheel on your mouse make sure that you pick the edges where you want the bus to be this one and that one and now you need to go down here under the distribution i want to use distribution by number of reinforcing bars and let me use five because two one at the end uh, at the start at the end will not be shown it so it will just show three so once you do that click your wheel on your mouse 
and you see that you have the bars right there all right so i can escape from my keyboard and let me just change the visual style you see that we have the three bars on top we have the stair up and everything looks good now how do we deal with the how do we deal with the the hooks here in tecla so all you need to do is select on it make sure that you have activated the leg faces this is a method of course the other methods that you can use then you can simply drag maybe at 250 you can do that and once you do that you see that it's extended within there then you can select on it then we have the end detail i want to add the hook there okay so from here i just want to add the hook which is 90 degrees then i can just pick the first point and the second point then the wheel on your mouse just click you have the hook there all right so you can do this you can copy this if you want but i just want to demonstrate that then you can also go at the bottom then right let me right click interrupt select on it make sure that you drag it maybe at 250 release it then we have the end detail okay make sure that this is 90 and now you can just pick this corner and that corner will on your on your mouse click it you see that you have it like that and you can see that you have your your hooks let me also do the same as i've said this can be copied but i just want to as a way of practice you can do that up to that point click the wheel on your mouse and have it like that so let me just place the, the rotation point here and you can see that we have our our pin there with the river now just one comment what i like in tecla structures is that you are not able to cut the section of course i've seen that it's faster to add the hooks in revit because you don't have to extend the bars goes all the way up to the, the core to the column but if you want it to behave like that it means that you have to model this column all the way up to the end but you know these are different you know two different softwares you know one has the advantage in one area the other one advantages in other areas so it's entirely up to you practice on one make it 